The next poem was written in 1902, also by a uh, Englishman. It's short. Uh, there are a couple of words in here which sometimes I will change a word in a poem I don't like to, but sometimes to facilitate uh, understanding. But uh, we lose the rhyme scheme then. So the, the first one is a nipperkin. A nipperkin is a small cup uh, to drink out of. A, a nip, of course, is a sip. One who nips is a nipper. And a nipperkin is something kin to the one who wants to be doing the drinking. So it's a, it's a, uh, a small cup. Uh, sold his traps is an expression. I think we forget in our age of supermarkets that I remember talking to my great uncle that, that uh, when he would come home from school, he would check his traps or go ice fishing or do something in central Minnesota so that he could bring home a dead trophy to his mother who would clean it and put it in the pot. But trapping was common. And uh, there's a re reference to a half a crown in here. A, a half a crown is uh, two and a half shillings, a British pound being 20 shillings. Other than that, we have this story. Had he and I but met by some old ancient inn, we should have sat us down to wet right many a nipperkin. But ranged as infantry, and staring face to face, I shot at him, as he at me, and killed him in his place. I shot him dead because, because he was my foe, just so. My foe, of course, he was. That's clear enough, although he thought he'd enlist, perhaps, offhand-like, just as I, was out of work, had sold his traps, no other reason why. Yes, quaint and curious war is. You shoot a fellow down. You treat, if met, where any bar is, or help to half a crown. The poem entitled, The Man He Killed, by uh, Thomas Hardy, 1902. I like to give the dates. I think that's important. That was uh, the... Uh, Final date of the Boer War, the second Boer War, the first Boer War, uh, the Brits lost, and being ever resilient, they went back and tried again.